Hello, I'm John from AccuSlice. Over the past two years, I've had a lot of problems with the spotted winged or softer flies. In fact, last year they just about wiped out my blueberry patch. So I wanted to re resolve the problem, but I don't like using chemicals. So what I did this year is I set a bunch of traps. I put about four or five traps in each of my blueberry bushes. And these traps consisted of the plastic bottles with some holes drilled in the top with apple cider vinegar placed inside the uh, bottle. And it just did a pretty good job trapping the drosophila flies. I have two hobbies. My one hobby is gardening. I have a pretty full garden with a lot of different plants, you know, including tomatoes and peppers, and then of course a bunch of fruit like uh, strawberries and blueberries and blackberries. My other hobby is woodworking. And I have a bunch of unique videos I've made on this on my website demonstrating some of the unique woodworking projects I've made over the years. So please register our website and check out our other videos. In my garden I have seven blueberry plants. They're probably about 12 years old. And in the last two years I've been having a terrible problem with the spotted wing drosophila flies. I basically almost destroyed my blueberry crop the past two years. And I don't like using chemicals because first of all the chemicals don't last very long. Uh, the flies develop an immunity to them very quickly and of course whatever you spray on your plants or your uh, garden you end up eating so I didn't want to use any sprays at all. So this year I decided to try and trap the flies before they uh, actually invest into the uh, fruit. So I'm going to be making some traps, hanging these from the blueberry plants and hopefully uh, catch them before they you know, lay their eggs in the fruit. I'm expecting blueberries in about uh, two to three weeks. So hopefully I'm getting a far enough start on this that I can get these trapped before they uh, invade the plants. So I'm making some traps. And what I'm doing, I'm using some simple water bottles. And I have a iron here, heating iron, with a, about a quarter inch diameter tip. And at the very top I'm just putting some small holes, probably about five holes in each of the plastic bottles. And it's about a quarter inch in diameter, which should be big enough for the fruit flies to get in, but not big enough for larger bees and stuff to get in. So that's the first step, putting the holes in. And then I'm using apple cider vinegar. And I'll also, also add a little bit of sugar, just to sweeten it up a little bit. And the last thing I need to add is a couple drops of soap to reduce the surface tension to hopefully trap the flies. And then I put the cap back on. I'll tie a string around the top. And this is a wax coated string which should not rot over the next few weeks. And then I'll hang this from the, the various bushes. So let me go ahead and make a couple more. Probably pour the vinegar in first. Add a little bit of sugar. A little soap. And I'll go ahead and make like 20 of these up for my plants. So now I've completed 25 of these traps. And that was made with the apple cider vinegar, a little bit of sugar, and a couple drops of soap. And of course there's quarter inch diameter holes in top of each of the bottles, like uh, five or six holes in each bottle. And the string tied at the top. And now I'll go hang these from my blueberry bushes. Try to get, you know, three or four per bush. So let me go hang these on the uh, blueberry bushes. And then we'll check them periodically to see how they're doing. I'm hanging three or four traps from each of the blueberry bushes. And I'm putting them at different heights because I'm not sure what's the best height. If it's better to have them closer to the ground or up higher in the bush. So I'm putting different places and then we'll see which trap the most number of flies. I finished hanging three or four traps from each of my bushes and now I'll check these daily to see how they trap the fruit flies.
This is one of my traps. It was out in one of my blueberry bushes, and this was out there for like four weeks. And now, as you can see, there's quite a few bugs in there. So let me uh, put this through a funnel and see exactly how many we did actually catch. And this is just one bottle out of about 30 in my blueberry bushes. Probably around 50 bugs in just one plant. And these are all small of the spotted wing drosophila flies. So that's over 50 flies in one trap. I said there's about 30 more out there in the uh, blueberry bat, uh, bushes. So I have seven blueberry bushes and between four and five traps in each of the bushes. And these were set out on uh, May 21st, and actually today is June 23rd and my blueberries are just starting to come into harvest. In fact, I'll be doing my third picking uh, today. So in total, I estimated I trapped between 1,500 and 2,000 Drosophila flies. And again, I captured them before they invested their eggs into my fruit. So it definitely helped save my blueberry bushes. Okay, this is just one of my seven blueberry bushes. And the berries are nice and big. You know, since the fruit flies didn't lay their eggs in them this year, uh, they're not small or shriveled up like they were last year. So they're much larger and plumper blueberries. And you can see some of the traps down here, and there's lots of bugs in those traps. I said I have 30 traps in each of my, or in all my blueberry bushes total. So let me start picking these blueberries and see what we get. But it looks like putting those traps in there solved the majority of my fruit fly problem. Um, I probably got it with the uh, 30 traps and about 50 bugs in each trap. That's a lot of flies that I caught this year. So let me just continue picking these and we'll see what we get. Now this is my harvest from uh, today's picking. Uh, I got probably about maybe three or four quarts of blueberries from these bushes. And most of this harvest came from five bushes. Uh, I actually have seven bushes, but the last two bushes are a later blooming uh, berries that I probably won't, we won't get much of those to off till uh, next week. But uh, in summary, uh, my traps work pretty well. I estimated I trapped between you know, 1,500 and maybe more than 2,000 uh, Drosophila flies, and they would have de devastated my crop had I not trapped them. So in summary, uh, the traps work pretty well, and I'll keep them up and uh, continue this next year also. I'll probably put these same traps in my uh, grapevines and my strawberry pads also. Well, I've had no trouble with the strawberries. Uh, the grapes, I don't know. That's something I have to check on. But they definitely uh, help with the blueberries. So I said this is my third picking. And I got to probably about three or four quarts of blueberries. And they're still coming in strong. I'll probably get my uh, biggest crop next week. Uh, I'll probably be getting blueberries probably in the next two weeks. And uh, I should get plenty for the winter. This is just one of my original woodworking projects. Subscribe and visit our website to see how these dizzy eggs and other unique woodworking projects were created. And once again, thank you for watching this video.